Welcome to another installment of the Edit Microsystems Guide to using Clicker 6 on your smart board for learning and special needs schools in South Africa. I'm going to get started right away and open up Clicker, which you would open by double clicking on the icon on your desktop. I've already done that, so this is what I see when I first open Clicker. You see I'm on the Quick Start page. I could also go across here to the top tab to files and open something up from a file or the quick start is designed to get you going right away. You could start writing on a new document, you could make a book in either landscape or portrait form or you can have a look through the favourites which you had previously saved if you need to clicker you won't have anything there yet or you can go to your recent files something that you opened just the other day or the last thing that you opened and select it from here just by clicking once you could also go to files you will have examples and users in examples double click on examples you will have some folders filled with activities that you can open just by double clicking. Here I've brought up a learning grids activity which was made by Cricksoft. I can click on the little eye to find out what this activity is all about or I can start using the arrows to go into the activity, select one of the options and get going. If I decide I actually want to open something else, I can go to the explorer um, which is a file, a folder and a, a little a, a lightning bolt or there's the same icon at the bottom here just a little bit smaller you can click on either of those or the third option to open up that uh, quick start page again is let's say open clicker sets this is the boring way but they all get us back to this original page quick starts or files um, if you want to go online and you have internet connectivity go to the free resources site now it's going to connect to the web and it's going to Cricksoft's uh, page full of amazing resources that have been created by teachers around the world and load it up here. You can filter here by age group. So select the age group that would be appropriate for your learners. This is based on mainstream schools. You can see when I move this just takes a moment to refresh. Now I've chosen from age, I think, five to five to seven. That's my age groups um, and then I can find an activity from this list or I could search for an activity by keyword or I can filter down by cat categories. So I can say maybe I want to do something on history and then I can have a look through here. Ancient Olympics looks quite interesting. I can either say yes, this is definitely what I want run now or I can say view and have a look at a preview of this activity but it'll give me a little bit more information without downloading the activity. What's the age group? What does it need to do? And as soon as I say run now, it's going to download the activity. So depending on your speed, it might take a little bit longer. Um, and then I can get started um, using that uh, clicker set right away. I'm just going to see um, how long it takes to download here quickly, depending on my internet speed. Um, but there you have it. Um, those are some ways to open your, your clicker learning grids. Here I have the same eye. What is this activity all about? And then I can get started with it if I'm ready. Um, so those are the ways of opening clicker sets. Once again, I've just gone back to my explorer. Um, I've opened under the files, I've gone other into examples. You can even go to your computer and find a clicker set that you've saved there or a clicker set that you've saved on your desktop or even in your My Documents. All right, that's how you can open a clicker file. Let's uh, get started with uh, really making some things. So find your next uh, training activity and I'll see you there.